So if you think about success like having a baby, right? The, there's a book called What to Expect When You're Expecting. It's probably the most popular parenting book for you know, newly expected parents. And each chapter goes through each month of what that pregnancy is gonna be like. You can't rush it. In other words, a full-term pregnancy is nine months. So if somebody's gonna have a baby, there are certain things that happen in month one, month two, month three. You're not gonna look at what happens in month seven in month two. And then if you just keep that analogy going and you're related to a business, you say all businesses go through steps. They go through processes. So if we're talking about selling on Amazon, for example, somebody might ask me, well, what about returns? How does that work? But the reality is you need to product source and sell something before you can have a return. People want to ask me about shipping. Shipping is really important, but until you have something to sell, there's nothing to ship. So it goes through a process and people want to jump ahead, but just like having a baby, you, there is no jumping ahead. I, I, I can't imagine what it's like to be eight months pregnant. I think if men were pregnant, we wouldn't have babies. But at, at month seven or eight, I would imagine you just want the baby out, but you can't get the baby out, not until it's a full-term pregnancy. Then once the baby's born, think about what happens after that when with kids. Wouldn't it be nice if you had a baby and they just started walking right away? Wouldn't, if you, wouldn't it be nice if you had a baby and they didn't have to wear diapers? Like there's a process, no matter how much you rush it, kids are gonna speak at a certain time, they're gonna learn their colors at a certain time, they're gonna learn how to be potty trained at a certain time. It's just a process that we go through in life. So if we can just treat our business the same way that we treat life, then we understand that there's a flow that we have to go through, then we're gonna be more successful. Right. So when you have people who are successful, they end up networking and finding and forming clicks with people who are successful. The people who have no money and don't want to sign up and it might not be because of a financial reason, they just don't see the vision or they're not interested in really pursuing the business on a big level, they find each other too. So that phrase that birds of a feather flock together and eagles soar with eagles, but you never see a turkey and an eagle together really is true. And I can tell you when, I, when we do these events, we've done thousands of events with hundreds of thousands of people around the world. I can tell you in an hour who the successful people are and who the successful are people who are not based on who they associate with. You've probably heard that people, you, you can tell how successful somebody is based on their Rolodex or based on their five most common friends and their sphere of influence. It's very rare you see really successful people hanging out with really broke people. It's just not commonplace. The successful people fly in the front of the plane and the people without money fly in the back of the plane or the people who don't value flying in the front. And so you'll find that the people who have the right mindset are divided from the people who don't have that mindset by a system we have called VIP. So on, on the first day of our event, we give people an opportunity to sign up for VIP. It costs a little bit of money to do that, but what it does is it takes the people who see themselves as being successful and are serious about the opportunity and moves them into one group. It takes the people who are less serious, who aren't sure if they want to do it, who don't see the vision, who may not trust in what we're doing, and moves them into this group over here. It isn't even as much about the money. There's a lot of, VIP is not that expensive of a program, but a lot of people don't sign up because they just don't see it. And what you'll start to see is that after hour two, after hour three, people find the group that they want to be found in. And so that's part of what success is all about, is surrounding yourself by people who have what you want. If I surround myself with people who are successful, I'm gonna become successful by osmosis. If I surround myself with people who are negative, who when they leave the room, the energy feels better, then I'm gonna get negative, I can't help it. That's just how human nature is.